Hi guys, good morning and welcome to one more destination trading video. You have seen that I have done lot of destination trading video and most of them from South India. So this is my first destination trading where I am doing from North India. So this time my destination trading from Mussoorie. This is one of the most popular hill station in North India, which is around 30 kilometers from Dehradun and one of the most peaceful place in India. And I can tell you that in my life I have been to many 5 star, 7 star hotels but I have not seen as beautiful hotel like this. And I can confidently say that this is one of the most beautiful 5 star property I have seen in my life. And going back to this history of this Savai Hotel which is owned by ITC Group. This hotel was built in year 1902. That means this hotel is more than 100 years old. So this hotel is around 120 years old. And one of the most attraction of this hotel is its architectural design. And this hotel was built during the British rule. They say that during the British era, British officials used to come and stay here. So this is about the Savai Hotel, a property owned by ITC Group. And already I have shown the hotel tour. I hope you have enjoyed it. So now market will open in some time. So before market opens, let me do the pre-market analysis and I'll explain you the important levels, support and resistance where market likely to react. And once market opens at 9.15, I'll give you the live commentary. And once I take the order, I'll show you my order book and explain the logic behind taking the trade everything. So without wasting much time, let's go to my laptop. Let us start with the live trading video from Masur. Okay guys, good morning and let us start with the pre-market analysis and let us first look at the nifty before we start with the current day we have to look at the previous day what happened previous day nifty was a kind of reversal day right a reversal day means opened with a bearish candle then took the support somewhere near the pure point and made a huge move and finally it closed here previous day open was here and previous day close was somewhere here so that means it had a big move so whenever previous day made a big move next day we are likely to see a wide cp next day we are more likely to see a wide cp so that means nifty today likely to make make a wide cp nifty today likely to make a wide cp and wide cp day we are likely to have a sideways day in the market on wide cp day we have to we likely to see a sideways in the market but that doesn't mean that we are opening within the previous day range and make a sideways day. We are likely to open a gap up because SGX Nifty was trading around 145 points in positive. So that means we are likely to open a gap up. So previous day close was somewhere here 17,320. So what is 145 points? So that means we are likely to open in this range. We are likely to open in this range. So that means there is likely to be a gap up opening today. So what is my trade plan for today on 18th of October? So my plan for today's 18th October is that I will look at the first candle. I look at the first candle of the day. First candle of the day, whether it is a bullish or bearish candle. If it is bullish candle, then I'll wait for some time to show me the bearish trend. Then I will short. Or second one. I look for a retracement from the first candle, then I will look for a long position. If I to go long, then I look for a retracement. If I want to short, then I look for a bearish candle after a bullish candle to short. So there are couple of things can happen. One is it can open with a huge bullish candle like this. Then I will not take a long in that case, I will wait and see whether there will be retracement back to first green candle low, then I would be interested to go long. Instead of bullish candle, if it opens with a uh, gap up and makes a bearish candle, then will I short immediately on the candle, then I look for the how much big is this candle? How much is big is this candle? If candle is too big and if I will short here, then what would be my stop loss? Stop loss will be here, which will be too big. In such case, what I will do, I will not go immediately on the first candle. Uh, instead, I will wait for candle to make some bounce. At least until candle retraces back to 50-60%, then I will take a short position and I will keep my stop loss here. So what happens with that? With that, my stop loss will be smaller. My stop loss going to become a smaller. Yes, there are chances that it can leave me and it can go like this. I miss the opportunity. That is fine. 
the most important is in trading managing the risk that means focusing on stop loss not focusing on profit target focusing on stop loss is important i'll enter a place where i see that my stop loss is not too big so if i short here my stop loss hits it will be only this much if i short here and market retraces my stop loss will be this much so that is why in trading most important is managing the risk you should manage the risk not about the profit 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 may come or profit may not come but focus on taking a trade where your stop loss is smaller and profit target bigger or if it makes a bearish candle if it makes a bearish candle like this instead of immediately shorting i'll wait for some consolidation and if the consolidation breaks then i'll go short. now you will ask me what is this important levels okay so this you know that previous day high which it may open above it because we are likely to open a gap up and what is this red bearish candle that is the supply zone why that is the supply zone you can see from here there is a huge crash from here right so this is going to be your supply zone since we are likely to open a gap up this supply zone which was a resistance which is likely to act as a support now because candle opens above the supply zone then it is likely to act as a support with the with that saying they say that resistance becomes supply supply becomes resistance in trade all right so resistance becomes supply supplies becomes resistance if it opens and makes a bearish move then it is likely to act as a support if it broken then next support will be here next will be cpi and what about this black line black line i have marked it on daily time frame because on daily time frame you have to see where is the important support and resistance right let's go to daily time frame okay you can see that on daily time frame only resistance i can see here after that next resistance only till here so we are likely to open near this near this resistance okay we are likely to open 145 point mean somewhere near that resistance it becomes resistance if candle is below that since we are likely to open above that then it will be support so my trade plan for today is i will look for even though price opens gap up i look for this level to be broken i look for this level to be broken for going short if it is broken then somewhere here i will try to take my profit because this can act as a strong support so that is about nifty let us look at the bank nifty bank nifty also made a huge move right even it was a reversal day it reversed from here and finally closed so now we are likely to have a white cpr in bank nifty also and on the higher time frame i not seen any important level where there is strong resistance for the bank nifty okay let us look at the high time frame for bank nifty is there any resistance bank nifty doesn't have any resistance until here right but the strong resistance is here so i can't see much resistance for the bank nifty unlike nifty but the same nifty follows bank nifty sometime bank nifty follows nifty so nifty have couple of important levels too that is this right if this level broken then it can come till why my bias is more towards the short position because we are likely to have a wide cpr wide cpr day most of the time market stays sideways or market can try to come and touch the cpr so that is why if previous day was a small sideways days and today opens with a gap up then my bias would have been more about long set but previous day made a huge move so we are likely to have a wide cpr so chances are high that price can come towards the cpr or another chance is that price may open a gap up and it can stay sideways for rest part of the day less chances that it opens gap up and it can go like this so less chances of opening gap up and keep going like this less chance anything can happen in the market more chances price to come back towards the cpr or stay sideways for rest part of the day okay guys that's about my analysis in nifty and bank nifty market will open in another 40 45 minutes so let's reconnect once market opens at 950 okay guys as you can see that market has just opened and as i was telling you that market opened gap up and above this level the level which i was mentioning earlier 
you can see that market opened nifty opened above that gap up and making a kind of doji candle as of now candle has not at closed only after candle close we'll come to know whether it will be doji or bullish or bearish how about bank nifty bank nifty also you can see that opened with a gap up and kind of bearish as of now so let us see let's wait for candle to close and then we will see whether we have to take the trade or wait for some time that i'll update you as of now it is getting rejected from higher level but as i was telling you earlier this will be strong support why this will be strong support now because candle opened above that level so whenever candle opens above the important level it becomes support if it opens below that level then it will become resistance as of now it says support as i was telling you that we are likely to have a white cpr look at this this is a white cpr right so chances are high that it can come back to the white cpr chances are high okay so that is what most of the time it happens so bank nifty also you can see that white cpr look at the all three levels white cpr right i'll wait for some more time before taking the trade because nifty is making kind of bullish green candle and bank nifty is making kind of bearish candle both are not in the sync right in such time it is better to just wait and watch rather than immediately jumping into the trade look at the candle has not at close but still bullish in nifty bearish in bank nifty right one thing can happen nifty may follow bank nifty and can reverse or bank nifty can follow nifty and goes up chances are high that bank nifty goes down and nifty also goes down chances are high i'm not saying 100% chances are high and you can see that nifty is now coming near the pure point resistance right bank nifty coming near the support bank nifty coming near the pure point support nifty almost coming near the pure point resistance okay you can see that first candle closed and first candle closed bullish kind of bullish even though small wicks is there bullish in nifty and it is bearish in bank nifty right it's a opposite price action in both nifty bank nifty nifty showing bullish bank nifty showing bearish now what is my trade plan trade plan is i will look for this candle wicks whether it will get rejected from here and it will show bearish candle or it can happen that there can be a fake breakout and then reverse my favorite pattern when it makes a fake breakout and reverses nifty is facing resistance at the pivot point let us see and another thing you have to see is that 20 ma where is the 20 ma look at this 20 ma is here very far right from the candle so that's what i discussed in my earlier videos also whenever 20 ma is very far from the current candle then very high chances of price going towards the 20 m okay now nifty trying to break the pivot point right nifty looks like trying to break the pivot points but in bank nifty it is showing bearish look at the bank nifty it is showing bearish bank nifty showing bearish strength and nifty showing bullish strength so in such case what is the best thing to do best thing to do wait and watch and that is what i am doing i am just waiting and i am not taking any now second candle also closed right second candle also closed with a bullish candle and bank nifty still showing bearish strength so what is my trade plan my trade plan is i'll wait for this level to be broken if this level to be if level gets broken then i'll go short i'll go short if first candle low gets broken what is the first candle low this first candle low and this pivot point if both gets broken then i'll go short okay now you can see that nifty looks like making a bearish candle right so let us see candle has not yet opened so too early to say anything but bank nifty trying to break the first candle low and pivot point if it is broken then immediately i'll take a short position in bank nifty more than nifty i would be interested to take a short position in bank nifty because bank nifty have chances that it can go till here if it is broken okay you can see that bank nifty trying to take the support near the same place where it took the support earlier 
so when price takes again and again support mean most of the time it gets broken if there is a support and most of the time price comes and takes support chances are high of breaking down the that support on that logic i am trying to wait for this low to be broken this pure point to be broken if first candle low gets to be broken then i would be interested to take this up okay guys you can see that now looks like the candle has not broken looks like it is likely to break right bank nifty is taking support here but bank nifty trying to break that level so so i'll take a risk of shorting before candle close so you can see that i have taken a short position 750 units of bank nifty 30400 call option i shorted 750 units mean 30 lots currently i'm in a small loss let us see what happens and you can see that i am keeping my stop loss now i am keeping stop loss of 40 points in this trade right i am i am keeping a stop loss of 40 points in this trade that is 305 my entry price was around 264 or 265 and my stop loss is 305 and you can see that currently i am in a loss right though my stop loss not hit but you can see that i am in a loss currently let us see this is a risky trade which i have taken okay look at this i have taken a risk of shorting before the candle close when i shorted candle did not close it is just based on gut feeling for a new trader novice traders i never suggest you to short the candle before candle close currently i am still in a small loss so i am expecting price to go down i may go wrong if i go wrong then you have seen my stop loss i have kept a small stop loss and i'll take my stop loss so it's a risky trade which i have taken for novice traders i don't suggest taking a trade until candle close as i expected yes candle finally closed as a bearish right only advantage it gives me taking the trade before candle closes i'll get a better end i'll get a better entry most of the time so let us see how this trade goes if nifty also breaks this consolidation and goes down then maybe bank nifty also can fall into free fall okay so you have seen that i have taken a risk of 40 points right that is my risk i have taken a risk of 40 points now my profit target should be at least double at least 80 or at least till price comes near, near here because that is where next support is in bank nifty and you can see that initially i was in a small loss now slowly i am coming into the profit because this candle also making a kind of bearish candle so it's too early to say anything until this level broken in nifty there is anything can happen bank nifty can bounce back and can stop losses okay guys as you can see that i was expecting that once this candle is broken then there can be a free fall but that did not happen and bank nifty made a bullish candle and you can see that my positive mtm came into again negative and almost hitting my stop loss in some time my stop loss can get hit if my stop loss hit as i said i will just take my stop loss and i'll close my trade i'll not take any revengeful trade i'll not try to recover my loss and i close my trade i will not do any revengeful trade or anything because profit and losses are part of trading sometimes profit hits sometimes stop loss hits what you should focus on focus on stop loss so that your loss is always limited you will never make a bigger loss so that should be the goal of trader it is not possible that every day every trade works and give you profit you can see that currently i am almost coming near my stop loss my stop loss can get hit any moment now so i'm just waiting for my stop loss to hit my stop loss you can see that it is around 305 that is my stop loss and it is just a matter of minutes before my stop loss hits and you can see that my stop loss hit and i've taken my stop loss never expected this kind of bullish candle right i never expected so this kind of bullish candle immediately reversal from here there was no support nothing so what you learn from today's trade you learn from today's trade is that it's not possible to make profit in every sometimes your trade goes right sometimes your trade goes wrong so but what you should do you should not risk more than one percent of your capital i kept my stop loss as a 40 points 
let us see my order book you can see my order book i have taken a entry at 264 in this candle expecting price to go down and i thought it will take support somewhere near the 20 ma or near the previous day high but you can see that it reversed from here nifty also did not have any support bank nifty also did not have any support but still my stop loss here. so stop loss is part of trade losses are part of trading okay never get dejected by stop losses stop loss is part of trading if you follow risk reward of 1 raise to 2 50% of the time your stop loss hit you should not bother 50% of the time stop loss hit you should not bother because you will lose only 1% when you lose and you make 2% when you make right so that is what known as trading as a probability trading is called probability not certainty i said if it breaks here then there can be a chances that price can go till the 20 ma or previous day high but you can see that that did not happen right so if it was a certainty then i would have said 100% it happens so why i kept my stop loss because i knew that anything can happen in the market any time you can see this kind of huge bullish candle and your stop loss can get hit any time market can reverse only thing can save you in the market is stop loss right only thing can help you in market is stop stop loss can help you to survive in the market so that your losses are limited so you will survive in the market to fight another day if you don't take stop loss then losses can be can be very big and eventually you may losing your entire capital i will ensure that i will never lose more than 1% of my capital in a single day so that's about today's live trading guys i hope you all liked it and i'll see you soon with a new live trading video very soon so that's it guys about today's live trading video from masuri i hope you all learned something new in this video so with that i am ending this live trading video and as i announced in my earlier videos i have reworked on my old day trading webinar which was earlier known as day trading with pivot points and price action now it is renamed as a 25 day trading strategies in nifty and bank nifty and in new webinar i am going to discuss 25 various strategies earlier webinar it was 15 strategies in this webinar i have added 10 more new strategies and also in that old 15 strategies some strategies have modified as per the current market structure so that's it guys about this destination trading from masuri i'll see you soon with a new video until then bye and take care